Jesus never commanded us to start great church services. He never told us to hold elaborate worship events. He called us to follow him as a disciple and in turn make more disciples. Discipleship is about people becoming more like Jesus. It's the process of moving from unbelief to belief about who God is and what he has done in absolutely every area of life. An important part of living out our identity as a disciple is making more disciples. Growing up, I always thought that being a disciple meant taking a series of classes about life as a Christian. Topics like prayer and faith, obedience and sin, they were all to be covered. And then to disciple someone else was to take them through the same types of classes and topics that I had been through. Maybe a nine week study, maybe something else, but you get the point. But then I noticed some things in the Bible that Jesus said that really rewired my thinking in all of this. In John chapter eight, Jesus says, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. Well, let me clarify what Jesus is saying here. Walking in his ways and obeying his teachings is what it means to be his disciple. And this is what leads us to know the truth, the truth that sets us free. Astounding. Did you notice the order here? If a person lives as a disciple walking in Jesus' ways, then they'll come to know the truth that sets them free. You see, the truth is that as Christians, we are always in discipleship mode. Discipleship doesn't start after some conversion experience. It begins when we first meet someone and then invite them to begin to walk with us in the community in God's ways. But the Bible also teaches us in Colossians 2. So then, just as you've received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in Him, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught. It's the same truths of the gospel that have set us free are also now how we're to grow and mature, becoming more like Jesus. We continue to walk in his ways with others in community, in regular life, comparing and contrasting truth to any and every area of sin or unbelief in our life. We actually disciple others to faith in Jesus and then beyond toward maturity. If we want to be and in turn make disciples that live out the gospel in every area of our life, then we must begin to live as disciples and disciple others along the way on the normal path of everyday living. If we are Christians, we are disciples of Jesus living on his mission. It is who we are. It's part of our transformed identity.